as we get to the end of this first term, I think there are four main things that really stand out uh, for the Commissioner. The work across alcohol in terms of the uh, incentivisation of best bar none, the breathalyser schemes and all of those sort of things have been a significant change on, on a topic which frankly I felt was almost impossible to make a dent into. I think the thing that we found quite early on in this process is there was a lot of work happening at local authority level and with the existing partnerships so we wanted to work with that and find ways to add to it and add value and, and really you know, be able to introduce some new ideas into it and we've very much done that through looking at taking forward work in relation to use of breathalysers in pubs and clubs and in particular on the clubhouse pilot that we've been working on with Drink Aware, which is a, is a significant project over a six month period, totally focused on making sure people who are out and who have got a bit too drunk and are a bit vulnerable are protected. The, the second area has been the work that the Commission has really driven uh, with the Strategic Alliance with Dorset. And this is really making some great steps into reducing costs and improving resilience of, of operational policing uh, throughout the three counties. Even more notably, the work to create the victim care unit. Uh, this was a really difficult project anyway and the Commissioner agreed that it could, this should be done in a way that was going to be even more difficult. The creation of a, of a voluntary sector network of over 60 providers. So we have a, a comprehensive service now that victims can rely on and it's very much based on, on their own personal need. So it's very much about what the victims feel they need rather than us trying to, to guess or to tell them. And the PCC has enabled local commissioning to happen which understands the local area and works to the strength of the voluntary and community sector in this country to support local communities. That could not and would not have happened without PCCs. There's some real energy about the, the need and the commitment to, to actually provide help to vulnerable people in society. And many of our victims are extremely vulnerable, uh, and so it's a really important service. When I heard about the Victim Hub, it actually made me smile because it, it just makes me feel a massive sense of relief that victims are going to get um, a more prompt service, and services are going to offer what they're actually good at and specialised to do and that in itself means that people are getting the very best of services for what they need help with. You can't not mention uh, the work on fair funding uh, which, which was instigated from the very first day almost uh, of his term of office the Commissioner had been talking about the unfair funding that came from central government. So the Commissioner encouraged and resourced all the work necessary to ensure that Devon and Cornwall had a loud, effective and influential voice in the police funding debate last year. This work halted a planned 15 million reduction in our police funding. We had specialist teams covering campaigning, lobbying and analysis, all working together to ensure that our funding was protected. Actually, the, the uh, petition that was put together, the, there was a great deal of consultation with the public um, and a petition of uh, over 10,000 um, signatories was taken to, to 10 Downing Street. In addition, there was some great work done with the, with the, the, the media and local press um, and, in fact, it went up to national press in the end. Some great arguments that we came up with, but the thing that actually destroyed it in the end was simply a, a clerical error, really. Um, they, they hadn't spotted the, the fact that they'd used the wrong data set uh, and of course we did spot that uh, and spotted also the implications of that which were, were massive for, for different forces. People can see the purpose of the office now and they can see that this is something, a way, something or an area where we have worked really effectively collabor in collaboration with the, the, the police force itself to actually deliver a significant change for the people of Devon and Cornwall. Tony appeared on a local radio lunchtime phone-in programme. As we were leaving the studio, the producer uh, stopped us and told us how that two to three years ago the majority of calls that came in were very much against the PCC role and indeed Tony himself. Now he said there were hardly any negative calls at all. A lot of people will not like uh, the role of the PCC but I think if you look at it independently uh, you can see the differences that have been made down here and I think you know, the differences that can continue to be made.